Uh, hello, this is Daryl. I'm just actually testing a new microphone setup. And, but uh, I might give a little tour of the place. This, is, of course, is where you start the game um, 200 years ago, or 210, whatever it is. Um, it's the town of Sanctuary. I have cleaned up pretty much everything. Um, I've thrown down some defense. Nice day. Where are we headed? And, uh,. Reached maximum affinity with Codswell. This here's the drug dealer's house. Well, if anyone um, could figure out a good use for it. Yeah, get out of the way. So I'm just going to test a few. So, like, let's say you want to start at this end of town with your. Uh, you know, you got the bridge there, you, you know, you want to set up your defenses and kind of use these three houses. You know, because you got uh, raiders and super mutants coming from over there, back there, and back over there. Kind of uh, from the other side of the water that's on that side of the settlement. So anyway, so if you want to start down here, you know, and fix up the houses. Um, this house here, I don't like this house, you know, and I'm sure that the developers did this on purpose. Whether it's an, a good idea or not, I don't know. But they leave stuff around that you can't get rid of, right? You can't scrap it, you can't move it, you can't do anything with it. Um, so... Um, but there are tricks that you can do, and I'm pretty sure these were built into the game on purpose. And because of that, yes, I don't know. Um, you can deal with the way they do things like that. with what they give you in the game right you don't have to no I mean it's not but so you know I mean maybe they're trying to challenge people I don't know um, uh, I tried building mods scrap mods where you can get rid of stuff and it, it kind of it changes the way some other build mechanics work and I don't really like it but anyway, so you got, uh, so there you go, you know. Now you just put that carpet down and you put uh, one of the bed posts on the carpet. And of course I played with this uh, in the past, so I kind of know. But, I mean, simple concept. You can do the same thing here. Um, I don't, I'm not, don't really want to fix up this house yet. But uh, put some more beds in there later, and I like to make this one my uh, my hangout. But that's because I do that end of town last, and you might you might feel the same way. I don't know. Um, now. Later on, I'm going to put a bar in here. Um, I don't have the skills for that yet. But if you put a bar in this house, um, there's kind of room, but you can put stools there because you can't get rid of that. All right? You can't get rid of that with the vanilla game. Um, you know, you can bit mod it out, but you know, like I said, that changes the way the build mechanics work. Um, so you'd put the bar and the, um, if you have um, the vault 88 DLC they have nice long indoor bars 
problem is they're kind of long, but one would fit there, and that's what I'm planning to do here later. Um, and the reason why I use this house is because there are two exits. Um, two is a good number. If you want to put people on the second floor of a building, you want to have two two ways in and out of that floor. Um, otherwise you're going to get big jam and people are just going to stand around all in one little cluster. Um, and you know, they don't get any work done. Well, they do magically somehow. But anyway, um, I think I showed you this, uh, this here later. Now I may, probably what I'm going to do is instead of just posting up the whole things, I'm going to just start cutting stuff together. Um, and I'll make, you know, I'll try to make like five minute episodes where I, you know, I just like show you how to do stuff the way that I do it. And, you know, it may not be the best way, um, but that's the way I do it. Uh, yes, yeah, I've already done this one. And I think I did this one. I don't think I filmed doing this one. But it's the basic. I made the roof a little low. And so I, ha I, I used um, uh, I didn't use a fence post to uh, for the multiple grab to clip through the walls. That's one thing you can't do is you can't clip through the walls and, and like embed you know new walls and a new roof if you use those scrapping mods that allow you to scrap these houses you that's all you can do with them you can't really modify them in the same way as you can in the vanilla game um, and, and uh, I learned, uh, I, I kind of got addicted to building and I wanted all of the achievements and it was just easier not to use mods. So I didn't, you know, and I got to like it. And I'm not using any mods right now, although I do have a few that I might turn on um, later. I think the, I don't know, I'm not using the... There's a mod that supposedly fixes a bunch of bugs, the unofficial patch thing. I don't... I think it causes more problems than it solves. I don't know that for sure, but I'm not using that one. There's a Fallout Complete mod that I may use, you know, when I'm ready to start gathering up all the magazines and stuff like that. And so right now I'm just, this is how, you know, I've played, I've put a lot of hours into this game. And, you know, maybe, you know, maybe there's a picture on the screen right now if I could figure out how to do that. Um, and, and to be honest with you, a lot of what I do is I just kind of wander around settlements and look at stuff. I'm like, is that a good place for that? And I move stuff around and I'm, I'm like, I don't. I don't know. I I have a problem. Maybe um, trash can Carla. Yeah. Um, her Brahmin will get on the roof a lot. I don't see it around anywhere. Uh, maybe it's dead. You can hope. But it gets on the roof. But surprisingly enough, um, if you put a ladder up. You don't see the Brahmin on the roof anymore. Now I've never seen Brahmin use the ladder, but there you go. Trash can Carla. She's like a melee champ. She's uh, I don't know. All right, so maybe. I don't know. Maybe this video is long enough. 